There was a time when I only focused on myself when I heard these words. But anymore, I focus on everyone that's tuned in to Night Vision. Because I thank God that God loves us all. And I'm so thankful that he's come to save the sinner, the backslider, as well as we that are getting closer to where we ought to be. God loves us all, and I'm so thankful for that. But even greater, I understand that I couldn't be here tonight if it wasn't those that support this ministry that make us possible to be here. Because without the support coming in, I wouldn't be here. And I thank you, you that support this ministry. And uh, as we come into this moment, we're looking at a new month, February. And everything that comes in from this moment on will be for this new month. And so I'm asking that we could have all that is needed in a precious way. Bring us further than where we are and we shall thank you. Dear God, I'm asking that you would bless night vision tonight. Minister to this moment and we shall thank you. Bring us further than where we are. Help us in this moment to get closer to thee. Bring us further in this moment and we'll thank you now. In this last broadcast for this week, let me give that phone number 313-838-1035. And again, the phone number 313-838-1035. And I'll ask the station, do we have calls already? And anybody else? All right, we need calls to come in quickly. 313-838-1035. But I thank the Lord we have one call, and it's on uh, the last day of the week that we hear this voice of somebody that I can remember over the years and thank God for. And so I'm going to turn this moment over to Pastor Dave. And uh, I thank God for getting to meet you. And maybe you could share a little bit about our beginning, but uh, you're here in this moment. God bless and use you, I pray. Thank you, Pastor. This is Pastor Dave, and uh, God bless you as well. Pastor, it has been uh, 19 years that uh, I've been serving the Lord through your ministry. And Hallelujah. And I'm just so uh, privileged and blessed uh, to be part. 
My name is Pastor Dave, and like what Pastor mentioned, um, I've been uh, with Pastor for many years also, and uh, I still remember the first time when uh, Pastor Bogo spoke to me. Um, I came from New York, and I was doing my ministry in New York, somehow by divine appointment through a pastor friend, um, I met Pastor Bogo. And uh, this was in Taylor, uh, when we used to have the church down there in Taylor on party, where I led worship together with my whole family. And then after that, we had a little fellowship, and I will never forget this. And Pastor told me, Pastor Dave, that uh, you are cold here in Michigan, and 20 years is just going to pass so quickly. If you don't answer your call, you might miss it. And Pastor, everything now is history, and uh, again, I am just so blessed. One thing that I really would like to share to the public, that I know that I have been part of... Uh, the Ministry of Night Vision, which started with Evangel Ministries, is for those tapes, for those uh, messages that Pastor preached early in the 80s or late 70s and 80s and up to about two years ago, one thing that I'm going to say, and I'm really very proud of, that I am part of how all of those messages became available to the public. What do I mean by that? Uh, I remember the first time when I uh, was in the church that was at the Evangel Ministries, the first thing uh, that I uh, saw and the first thing that the Lord spoke in my heart is about those messages that are just sitting there in the uh, basement of the church. At that time, I was uh, working full-time at Evangel Ministries, and I was uh, also the worship pastor. And so when God spoke to me about having those messages, make sure that they'll be preserved for the rest of as long as there's going to be people listening. And I started working on it. It's about five, now I would say about 6,000 messages all in all, that the uh, pastor preached throughout those years. And I started just working on it and transferring as many as I could those tapes to CDs and have what we call now a digital copy of the messages. Now, the messages now it's being played, uh, that some of you are really so blessed, and I would encourage also some of you to obtain uh, how you can get an access to those messages, powerful transformational messages. Now it's available. I'm just so proud that uh, I told Pastor, Pastor, I'm working on it, if it's okay with you. And Pastor said, Pastor Dave, the Lord gave that to me and make it available to the public and they're going to have it for free. And uh, <laughs> jokingly, I would say I was working three messages every day and uh, three messages and I'm counting the years I have 6,000 three messages every day I stopped counting I know that it would take me at least for the next uh, 20 years to finish them I could finish three messages <laughs> every day but so far we do have at least a thousand digitized messages that are now on the cloud which is available for everyone who would like to have an access to that. So I did that and then um, preserved all of those messages and, and then uh, moved on and started a church right here in Taylor. There's the one thing I'm going to say too. I felt that the church, my father's house church, that uh, now that I'm involved right here in Taylor, I feel that that is the continuation, if you may allow me to say it, the continuation that uh, you did. And now I am just following it through. 
And so the work that you started in Taylor, I followed it up, and now we have this church, my father's house church, which I remember every year as I would come to downtown to uh, 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 live uh, right here in Taylor, where uh, oh. he would share the word of God. And um, I just so proud again, just to say that it has been 19 years that I've been serving with uh, the Ministry of Night Mission with our pastor, Pastor George Ogle. Pastor, that's just a, uh, uh, I would say, snippet of uh, a lot of beautiful things that the Lord did, uh, even at this very moment. Now, uh, today or tonight, we do have the off the air available and uh, i will give that number i will give you more information about how you can uh, access the, the messages that we played this week even last week and even for the messages that we're going to play for the future uh you can call me on the off the air now the off the air number is two four eight seven zero two seven three now, don't call me right now because I'm, uh, I'm still going to make more announcements here, uh, give more information about how you can be part and how you can, um, I would say, be involved in, in, the, in the evening ministry and the prayer ministry that we are doing. So you can call me on the off the air and the number is 248-702-7378. Now, there are other ways how you can actually support. There are three options on how you can support the ministry. One is you can visit the uh, website of Night Vision. Uh, in our website, there is an icon that says there, Donate Now. And uh, certainly you can click that button and uh, you can make an instant donation using your debit or credit card. Yes, you just click, uh, click Donate button. And then you can use your debit or credit card to make that instant donation. Now, the website address is www.pastorbogo.com. Again, the website address is www.pastor, that is P-A-S-T-O-R, Bogo, B as in blessings, O-G-L-E dot C-O-M. Now, I mentioned how you can uh, listen on or how you can have an access uh, to uh, some of the messages while well, you visit the website. And uh, on the uh, left-hand side, it says there, a free download, and you can listen to some of the 1,000 available messages that uh, we do have to listen to and to own for free. Yes, you can download that through your computer. You can uh, download that uh, through your smartphone, and you can listen to some of it. Now, if you want to listen to the message, the messages that we played this week, you can actually visit us on Facebook. Yes, Pastor Bobo or Night Vision has a Facebook, and the Facebook account is www. or I would say the Facebook address is pastorbogo.com. Yes, that is the uh, Facebook account of Night Vision. It's the same, almost the same as the website. Just uh, if you have a, a Facebook account, you just search pastorbogo.com, and once you see the site, there's an envelope there that says uh, uh, messages. And you click that messages, and you'll be able to listen to at least uh, this week's messages and also last week's messages. And so you just do that, and I'm sure that you're going to be blessed. Now, those are all for free. Now, if you've been blessed, please do so and continue to support the ministry, knowing that the ministry is totally dependent on our listeners. So if you've been blessed and you want to be part of what God is doing tonight, please do support the ministry. Now, uh, the other ways of supporting it is uh, you can send 
your check or money order by mail to Night Vision. Night Vision is spelled N-I-G-H-T, V as in victory, I-S-I-O-N, and the address is P.O. Box 39241, Detroit, Michigan, 48239. Again, the address of Night Vision is P.O. Box 39241, Detroit, Michigan, 48239. Now, the best way, really, that you can connect with us is you can call me on the off the air. Again, don't call me at this very moment. Just give me a few more minutes. And my number here is 248-702-7378. Again, the off the air number is 248-702-7378. And uh, if I don't pick it up right away, um, I promise you that I'm going to call you back and have that connection available. Again, my name is Pastor Dave Alvarez, and I will be on our off-the-air number. Now, I also would like to add, and this will be the last one, for you to, um, especially for those uh, who are uh, Christians and those who are born again and those who are who accepted the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ to Come and worship this Sunday and to honor him. This is the best time to honor the Lord on Sunday together with other saints. Now, if you don't have a church, I encourage you to find a church in your neighborhood, you know, close, very close to, to you where you can access that church right away and uh, join and worship. And uh, if you are looking for a place, uh, provides for those who trust in him. He said, forget not all your benefits, how God has forgiven me, has forgiven us, how God has healed us, how God has crowned us with his loving kindness. And I really want to thank God for that, Pastor. And uh, what what kind of car are you driving now? I am driving a very old car, a 2005 Mazda, and thank God it's still running and it's uh, and it's making it right now with that cold weather. 2005 Mazda three. That's what I'm driving, Pastor. If you're asking me, yes. All right. I'm going to ask God to give you a new car somewhere along the way. <laughs> oh, I love it, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. And I know that the Lord is going to hear that. Amen. Lord, it oh. be with this son of yours. I thank you that we've been able to be close together. And I'm thankful. Bring us further, all of us. And we shall rejoice, minister to all of us as we call upon thee. Bring us further in our journey, blessed in a fresh way. In Jesus' name, grant it, God, we're here to thank you now. And I'm going to ask the station, how many calls do we have? All right. Uh, we are going to need calls to come in pretty quick. But thanking God for the call that is here at this moment. God bless. You're on the air. Pastor Bolo, uh, yes, yes. Pastor Bolo, I, yes, can you hear me, Pastor Bolo? I can hear you, and I'm glad. Well, I uh, have a prayer request, and I also have a very brief testimony, if you would allow me to uh, um, mention that to the uh, audience. To be sure and do it. It's your moment. 
Well, as many of you uh, perhaps know, I uh, had for a number of weeks been attempting to uh, to uh, purchase or lease uh, some sort of uh, vehicle. And uh, I had asked for prayer uh, from the uh, Night Vision family, and I had done a number of other things to uh, make this happen. Now, uh, about two weeks ago or so, one of the uh, Night Vision family members uh, sent me a text message at 532. And this is important. At 532, this text message comes in from another member of the family to me and says this. And this is exactly as it came to me uh, on my phone. It says, please, Jesus, move for the messenger now. Please. We humbly ask you, whoever holds the keys to that car, come forth now and release it. Three minutes later, at 535, out of the blue, I received another text message from someone else who knew nothing about any of this, offering to sell a car to me. The car that was offered for sale had been reduced by 40%, which means that although they had this is not the exact price, but just as an illustration, uh, the car had been for sale for $5,000, but they were willing, uh, in the illustration, to sell it for three. And, of course, I immediately uh, acknowledged that uh, that was God who had done that. Now, as I was rejoicing and getting back in touch with the uh, person who had uh, sent that uh, prayer to me, I then found out that the car that I had been offered uh, to, or that was offered to me for sale was the same year, the same make, the same model, and the same color as a car that this person had had a number of years before. So in saying this uh, as a testimony, I offer three things. First, God answers prayer. Second of all, when God answers prayer, it's important to receive it, to accept it, to recognize that uh, God did, in fact, answer the prayer. And the third thing is something that is a little bit peculiar to myself, but something that I have uh uh, developed over the years, which is this whole idea that God brings things to me. And if I will uh, allow him to uh, provide for me, uh, what I've found is that his provision comes, and it's just a matter of uh, essentially just dropping right in my lap. And that is exactly what's happened. I now have that vehicle. I've acknowledged that it is a gift of the Lord. It is running fine. And I am uh, not only blessed, but I rejoice that uh, the Lord has, in fact, provided something that I very much needed. And having said all that, my prayer request is, is that I would ask that I would receive one of the now famous Pastor Bogle, A to Z prayers. If you would do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. Dear God, be with all that this one is asking for from you. Give him every bit of that blessing. But thank you, God. This is your son that's come a long way. And we're thankful and ask that you would bring him on further still minister to all of us and we shall thank you bring us further than where we are change for the better in jesus name grant it god we thank you now and um uh, the phone number is 
And um, I'll ask the station, how many calls do we have? And that phone number is 313-838-1035. Taking a call that is here with Thanksgiving. God bless. You're on the air. Hello, Pastor Vogel. It's Martha. God bless you, Martha. Keep on. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, I just have an unspoken prayer request this, this tonight, and I hope that everybody that's listening to your show and yourself are feeling great. And I just have an unspoken prayer request, and thank you. And... Um, could you explain to people what an unspoken prayer request is? Well, it's where you ask for the, a prayer, but you don't relate verbally what it is. You keep that to yourself, and when the person prays for you, the Lord hears them praying for you, and he answers your prayer. But you also pray it yourself to God yes. all by yourself. Yeah, uh -huh. I guess so, yeah. Be sure yeah. and pray that prayer yourself, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Dear God, be with this daughter as she shares this request with thee. We don't have to know what it is, but she has to speak it to you. Bring her on in a blessed way minister to her and bring her further in her day minister to all of us and we shall thank you help us to get closer to thee granted god and we're here to thank you in this moment now and uh, the phone number is 313-838-1035. And um, I am so thankful that there are people <clears throat> that are praying for me. And I'm rejoicing in that because I never focused on that before. But I'm so thankful that Night Vision has people that are praying for George Bogle. And I'm asking <clears throat> that God would continue to minister to my lungs. I want my lungs to be blessed, to be so clean. Help me, God, in every bit of my journey, too. In Jesus' name, grant it, God, and we shall thank you now. The phone number is 313 838-1035. And uh, we have one call that I know about. So we'll take, huh? How many? Oh, hallelujah. And so thank God that thing can change for the better taking a, a call that is here. God bless. You're on the air. God bless you, Pastor Bogle. God bless us all. Yes, God bless us all. Um, Pastor Bogle, I'd just like prayer for my daughter. 
for God to bless her finances, Lord, that things will go right for her. And, and I appreciate it. Does she have a job? Yes, she has a job. And yes, she do. What age is that uh, daughter of yours, mother? She, um, she's 26. All right. Mm -hmm. Is she single or married? She's single. God be with that daughter of this mother. Yes, and Lord. bless mother that's praying for daughter. Bless mother in a marvelous way. And God meet the need that mother is praying about for this oh. daughter. That this daughter could be brought on in a blessed, marvelous way. Yes, Minister to all of us. And we shall thank you. Bring us further than where we are. Help us in all of this moment. And we shall rejoice. Minister to all of us. And we're here to thank you in this moment now. Taking a... Our next call at this moment, God bless, you're on the air. Oh, hallelujah, God bless you, Pastor Bobo, Mike, baby, and may God continue to bless us all in Jesus' name, for whom our Lord and Savior, for whom all blessings flow. I am uh, calling, this is Teresa calling, asking God's mercy and grace, I need him. And receive the Lord Jesus from A to Z and ask for his blessings to be upon me and my blessings from A to Z in the name of Jesus for whom all blessings flow. Hallelujah. I love what's in your word in this moment. Oh, be with right. this daughter of That's yours and right. bless her as she's requesting blessing from A to Z. It covers everything, physically, mentally, spiritually, practically. Give her that kind of a blessing. Bring her on in her moment. Blessed exceedingly. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Yea, we come into this moment thanking you that your word says, call upon me in prayer and I will answer thee. And so God, bring that answer into our moment. Minister to all of us, dear God, I pray. Grant it, God, and we're here to thank you in this moment now. The phone number is 313-838-1035. Again, phone number 313 838-1035. Taking our next call at this moment. Yes. Pastor Boga, this is a missionary Moria uh, calling in tonight to reiterate on giving the mail and address. Pastor Dave is busy working. He's going to be calling back in the next hour. So I will uh, give it quickly. I just want everybody to know that they, if they like to make an offering or donation using their credit card or debit card, they can call the Alta Air prayer line number and receive assistance. That's if they have, uh, they're having a problem or issue. They can call Pastor Dave. He's working um, uh, there tonight uh, passionately. At area code 248-702-7378. The off-air prayer line number 
where you can receive some assistance if you need to make a donation or want to make a donation on the tonight business using your credit card or debit card. The off air parallel mm-hmm. number is area code 248-702-7378. And this is our last broadcast for this week. And we um, want you to know that you can continually um, send in your offerings uh, to Night Vision. Night Vision is uh, ordained uh, prayer, praise, and testimony ministry. And as we all know, it is primarily supported by the generosity of the Night Vision family near and far. That's all of the listeners that tune in to Night Vision. Now, you can uh, also send in your checks and your money orders. You can certainly make it payable to Night Vision. That's one word, all together written, and it's spelled capital N-I-G-H-T, capital V, as in victory, I-S-I-O-N, P.O. Box 39241. P.O. Box 3924. Four, one, Detroit, Michigan, and the zip code for Night Vision is 48239. The zip code, once again, for Night Vision is 48239. The website address, uh, if you like to use your credit card and you feel uh, you can do that, it's, it's easy, secure, fast, and uh, funds are allocated right away to help us know where we are and where we what quota we need, www.pastorboga.com. Again, that's www.pastorboga, P-A-S-T-O-R-B, as in blessed, O-G-L-E dot C-O-M. All right, that is the website address, and look for the word where it says donate, uh, use in the lower right or upper right corner. And uh, once you have uh, access to the website address, you can just see so much going on. You can uh, obtain information about Night Vision, how it got started and everything, as Pastor Dave already said. You can also download a message on the left-hand side and play it, uh, listen to it all over again. You can also arrange to purchase one of those messages if you so desire. But tonight is a good night. Every night is a good night, but tonight you have help to help you make, uh, use your credit card or debit card. If you feel that you are unable to do it yourself, you can call the off-air prayer line number at area code 248-702-7378. And Pastor Boga, everything is moving well. We want everybody to know they can continue to call in for prayer at area code 313-838-1035. Again, that's 313-838-1035. We were blessed to hear from the messenger, as we already had uh, told everybody about his vehicle, how God, he, he explained it more in depth, how the Lord blessed him with that very fine car. And we just want to keep a prayer going. And uh, Pastor Boga, I have an unspoken prayer request tonight. Amen. Yes, I, I have. Thank a, God. We'll ask God to bless you in that. Yes, and, sir. Uh, is there anything that you could uh, share in prayer before? Oh, yes, you, most definitely. Always. I I have a uh, prayer on my lips and in my heart. All right, um, go ahead and pray that. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you so much. Um, eternal God, our Father. Our Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It's again, Father, that we come before your presence. We come now, Lord, humble as we know how. We come looking to the hills from whence comes our help. But, Father God, we know that all of our help comes from thee. Father God, we know you sit up high and you look down low. You still have the power to aid us and to bless us, to protect us. And every day that our eyes come open, we thank you, God, for new mercy and for grace, more grace and new mercy. God, because we have all been wrong in our lives, and we ask now, God, if there's anything that's, uh, we have done contrary to thy will. We ask that you forgive us, cast it into the sea of forgiveness, never to let it rise 
anymore. Now God bless Night Vision. This is February. It's a short month. And we ask that you move on the hearts, the altar of the hearts of the listeners afar, near as well. Help them to be able to contribute to this cause. Night vision is truly a blessing, God. Keep it to be a blessing. It's a blessing that we have that we can call in for prayer and ask and we can receive prayer. For Pastor Boga is praying every night passionately and fervently for us. He's interceding on our behalf. And God, we thank you for this service. We thank you for the blessing. And we just want you now to bless everyone that's tuned in tonight under the sound of my voice. All of the night to big and family. Couple have been hospitalized this week, but bring them home safely, God. Bring them home from their convalescent center. Those who are shut in, God, let them know you're, they're not shut in because your grace can reach them right where they are. We thank you, Lord, that the weather is getting better. We praise your holy name. We praise you, God, that that uh, deep Arctic air that we had for two days past have moved on along. And God, you're just a good God. You took care of all of us during that cold snap. And we just thank you now, Lord. Things are getting better. Weather uh, mm-hmm. is getting better and getting warm. And God, we're just going to uh, truly lift you up and give your name the glory and praise because you are deserving of all the honor. All the praise and all the glory. Once again, we ask that you bless Night in a special way and bless the people that are tuned in tonight. We'll be so ever careful, God, when it's all said and done, to give your name the glory, to give your name the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, uh, for allowing me to say that uh, prayer tonight. And I uh, would like to hear your voice to pray for me. Uh, it's just such a smooth in prayer when you pray for the people uh, for my unspoken re- uh, prayer request. Dear God, be with your daughter. And as there is an unspoken request to us, but yeah. she will speak it to you. And yeah. God, let her be blessed in everything that doesn't have to be shared with others. But we bring it to you. And so bring this one on. Blessed exceedingly. Minister in this moment. And we shall thank you. Bring us further than where we are. Help us all. But God, I thank you that we're told to count our blessings. And so, God, give us blessings. May we be blessed physically, mentally, spiritually, practically. Give us blessings. And we'll thank you in this moment now. Thank you, Pastor Boba, for that prayer. I'll be uh, probably have to do, well, I'm in touch with Pastor Davis. He's going to do the last uh, call in, but I'll probably have to call in with the mailing address one time in the next hour. I'm going to see, you. I'll be texting him and see what he say, how it will go tonight. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Boba, and we'll be in touch shortly. Looking forward. God bless. Amen. Bye-bye. And, uh, I think we have, uh, what, one call? All right. We're going to take one call first, though, and then it'll be time for station identification. And uh, then we enter, after that, the last hour for this week of night vision and uh, taking a, a call that is here God bless you're on the air hello Pastor Bogo yes this is, this is Brother Phil Brother who? Bro- this is Brother Phil and what tell people do? what there is about you that's special Some things uh, I, I play music and uh, I have a soothing spirit when you get around me. 
there's, there's a lot of things that that are special about me. But I want you to pray for me, A to Z, and I want to know that 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 see the the kingdom of God. I want to know that number. If, if, if you can give me that number, I'll I'll order it Monday. Uh, so that if, if everything work all right, like I think it's gonna work out, I'll send you a, a good offering. Hallelujah! I love you, brother pastor. You pray for me all the time. I thank you. I thank you. We're going to ask God to bless you exceedingly. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, be with this one that is calling on thee. Bring this one on in an ongoing wonderful testimony. I ask God in Jesus' name that we would have greater wisdom, knowledge, understanding that covers everything that is needed to be. Bring us further and we shall rejoice. Minister to all of us in this moment. Bring us further. Change for the better. Help us, God, to be blessed exceedingly. Minister to all of us, and we shall rejoice. But minister to the callers, but not just the callers. Minister to everyone tuned into night vision. I ask God in Jesus' name that you would minister to all of us. And I'm so thankful, God, that you have told us you're loving and you love us all. You love the sinner. You love the backslider. You love those that are needing to get closer to thee as well as those that are trying to be all that you want us to be. Thank you, God, that you love the world because the Bible tells us God so loves the world. And God, thank you for that, that you love the world. Bless us in this moment, and we shall rejoice. It's time for station identification. And when that is over, we enter the last hour for this week for night vision. But it's time for station identification now. WMUZ Detroit, WRDT Monroe, Detroit. Buy an HD radio and experience amazing crystal clear digital sound. And listen online at WMUZ.com or WRDT560.com. And um, I think we have, is it two calls? Yes. All right. Taking our, in this last hour for this week, the first call, God bless, you're on the air. Praise the Lord, Pastor Bogo, how are you this evening? You have to let me know. Hello? Can you hear me? I'm listening to you. Oh, pardon me. Oh, I, hi, I just wanted to call in and uh, I just wanted to um, thank all the, the the night vision listeners who contribute. And um, it's very, it's very special to me because it enables people like me to be used of the Lord. It's such a privilege to be able to contribute, to be able to intercede with everybody and uh, it's just such an anointing 
that comes upon me when I'm able to uh, to pray with everybody. And uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for that. With that being said, uh, I would like to ask a very special uh, prayer request for my wife and myself uh, from A to Z. And, uh, Amen. I thank you. I thank Dear you. Dear God, be with this caller and his wife and bless them both in everything from A to Z. But God, I'm asking that marriages could have a better time after we've been married for quite a season. Bring us further and we shall thank you. Bless us to get on in a blessed way. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you in this moment now. And uh, I hope that we'll have somebody before too long calling and asking that we pray over the water because it will help me if I can drink water while I'm still here. But taking our next call, we have no calls at all? Yes. All right, you let me know as soon as calls come in, okay? And uh, the phone number with no calls at all, and that surprises me. But the phone number is 313-838-1035. Again, the phone number for calling for prayer, 313-838-1035. And... Uh, I just trust that the Lord will minister to all of us. And uh, I am really wondering why we don't have a call. But we're going to trust the Lord. Looking in the scriptures while I'm waiting for call, in James chapter 4, verse 7 and 8, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I love this scripture. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. May God give us a blessing. And then in uh, James chapter 1 and verse 5, if any of you lack some wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Lord, I want your wisdom. Grant it, God. Grant it, we pray. And then uh, in uh, 2 
second epistle of Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. And God give us all of that power, love, and a sound mind. May God give us such a blessing. And then Romans chapter 12, verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so may God give us a mind that's being renewed. And I love this scripture in Jesus speaking in the Gospel of John, chapter 4 and verse 26. But the Comforter, Jesus is speaking, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, Jesus said, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So thank God for what the Holy Spirit can do for us in our journey. And uh, may God bring us further. And uh, I'll ask the station again, uh, how many calls do we have? All right, hallelujah. Taking uh, our next call at this moment. Hi, Pastor Mogul. Hello, daughter. What's that noise in your background? Uh, I don't hear anything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you have your know, phone on? Yeah, I think I know what it is now. Okay, can you hear me now, Pastor Bogle? Now I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to, I had to turn the radio down. Uh, Pastor Bogle, I was calling in uh, to ask if we could uh, pray over the water in the name of Jesus.